thunder of a 21-gun salute and a fanfare greet Her Majesty the Queen as she arrives at Funuapai to meet for the first time her Royal New Zealand Air Force. Welcomed by the Prime Minister, the Right Honourable S.G. Holland, Her Majesty and His Royal Highness the Duke of Edinburgh are shown to the saluting dais, where the Royal Standard is broken out. The day is December 28, 1953, an historic one for the Royal New Zealand Air Force. Playing host for the first time to a reigning monarch, the RNZAF is to receive its greatest honour, the Queen's Colour. After an inspection, the high point of the day's ceremony draws near, as the senior chaplain, squadron leader, the Reverend A. R. Ellerton, M.C., consecrates the colour. May this colour never be unfurled, save in the cause of justice, righteousness and truth, he reads. As the symbol of our fellowship with him and with each other. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost, Amen. And now it's a proud and solemn moment as the colour party advances and the RNZAF receives the first colour in its history from the hands of its young queen. Many here remember active service under her father. For them there are memories of the more than 3,000 New Zealand airmen who laid down their lives in the last war. Her Majesty addresses the parade. Officers, Airmen and Airwomen of the Royal New Zealand Air Force. I am very happy to be here today to present to you my colour. I congratulate you on your fine display of drill and on the excellence of your dress and bearing. This day will always be a memorable one for me, for it is my first visit to my New Zealand Air Force. But if I have never before had the pleasure and privilege of meeting you in your own homeland, I have heard much of your valour in war and of your skill and enterprise at all times. And I know of the fine traditions that have been so firmly laid by your predecessors and by yourselves. I have not been disappointed by what I have seen today. Rather, I have been filled with pride and with the conviction that you will go on to create an even finer tradition on these foundations. I give you my colour in the knowledge that you will guard it well, in the belief that it will always remind you of the trust I place in my Royal New Zealand Air Force. During your future service, you will, I know, be always worthy of that trust and will always strive to maintain the high and honourable standards of which this colour is a symbol. The Chief of Air Staff, Air Vice Marshal Carnegie, replies. Your Majesty, your gracious presentation of the Queen's colour to the Royal New Zealand Air Force is an historic and inspiring occasion. Historic because it is the first time that Your Majesty has visited a station of the Royal New Zealand Air Force, and because this is the first Queen's colour that has been presented to the service, and inspiring because it shows your confidence in this, which is probably the youngest, one of the youngest of Your Majesty's Air Forces. Your colour will ever be a symbol of inspiration to the Royal New Zealand Air Force, of pride to those who have served in its ranks, and of remembrance of those who've been called to higher service. Your Majesty. Eight.
Now, carrying their color proudly, the men of the color escort squadron, representing all sections of the Air Force, pass in review before their queen. Precise movements begin the simple but impressive ceremony of the royal salute. Royal New Zealand Air Force will advance in review order. By the centre, we march! Your Majesty, have I your permission for the parade to march past? And so the mass parade of the men and women of the RNZAF passes in final review before the Queen. Ceremony over, the Royal Aircraft taxis in. And the Royal Party prepares to leave. As the aircraft speeds off the runway, up into a clear sky, Her Majesty bids goodbye to Whenuapai, but au revoir to her airmen. Always on duty for the Queen, the RNZAF and Her Majesty will meet again. <laughs>